Yo, what's up? We are now sitting in the 2021 Tesla Model 3 long range. And you know, in this video, I'm gonna test something with this car. So let me explain. Uh, yesterday, I tested the Model 3 performance with a, uh, with a heat pump. And uh, actually, I don't know why, but many people with the performance, they have been complaining that the cars go into limp mode now during winter because the battery is too cold. So let me explain a bit. So this one is called Scan My Tesla. Here we see battery percentage, here we see battery temperature. And in the Model 3 that I tested yesterday, performance, the battery was hovering around 15 degrees Celsius. And then the problem started occurring when I had low state of charge. So let me take a look at the clips yesterday. All right, we are now down to 25%. It is uh, 5 th 5.40 in the evening now, in the afternoon actually, and it's already getting dark, but let me show you something here. Look here. Okay, 25.6 degree uh, the percent still charge left, and look at the power limit. 100 and, uh, 137 kilowatt only, because the battery is at 15 degrees Celsius. Look at that, and look here. I'm gonna zoom in so you see better. Look at the power limit. What? I see now why Model 3 performance owners are pissed because they, you know, they want, they, they buy performance because they want performance. What happens then? You are nerfed down to 136 kilowatt, you're nerfed down to TDI levels. Actually, no, wait, TDI, no, 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 this is, this is way more than diesel, yeah, diesel is way less than this, okay, but you get only about 200 horsepower now instead of MC Hammer would have 300 or 350 at least. That sucks. But okay, so far so good. Let me show you the stats. We are now at Dahl and I just need to show you guys something here that we've never seen before. Look, okay, we have 80 kilometers of range left. We are at 17% and we have more and more power limit here. And if you look here, okay, again here, here's state of charge. Wait, that, that number there is state of charge. And the power limit is now down to 81 kilowatt. This is so unreal because we actually have more, we, the, the region limit is higher than the power limit. <laughs> oh, sh I actually don't know. I don't know if I dare to go down to 5%. Uh, there is one thing we could do. Ah! Oh, okay. Man, I thought, that, uh, I thought the car would shut down. Oh, don't scare me, dude. It was just a radar. Oh, okay, okay. But what we could do is we could navigate to the supercharger. We, if we do that, uh, let, me, let me put the car in neutral. Okay, I'm coasting. If we navigate to the supercharger, it will start preheating. <laughs> no, but I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna clear the snow. You know, stop at the, this uh, stop over here. Okay, it's gonna show you now why the radar is blocked. What? It's just a thin layer of... It was nothing. It's nothing. It's just, it's just a little bit of slush that triggered the... the was, I want to use cruise control. And you can't use manual... Uh, no... What? Was that it? It's not even that thick. I mean, on, on the SNX, it was always thicker than this. Okay, hopefully that works. Yeah, let's try now. Oh yeah, the radar is back. You can see the circle. That means that the radar is back. But when I try to accelerate, oh, this car feels super sluggish. Holy shit. I understand now why the Model 3 performance owners are pissed. Oh, this better be fixed soon, Elon. Oh. All right, we've been back, driving back and forth a little bit. Let me show you the stats so far. We have driven 400 kilometers. Consumption is 168. We have 52 kilometers left. Let me show you guys all the stats. It's one degree Celsius outside. This is getting really scary because right now, oops, sorry. The power limit, this one here is 55 kilowatts. And we have 11% left. So this is getting really scary. And what I don't want to happen is that the car shuts down on the highway here. So for safety, we don't want to let that, let that thing happen. So I'm going to bail out now because I've seen enough. If we keep going, this car will go into limp mode, like my friends told me. 
and it was restricted to only uh, 35 uh, 40 kilometers per hour so what I'm gonna do now is to navigate the supercharger that will tell the car to start preheating the battery actually it might yeah yeah you see oh saved by the gong gong yes preheating the battery and that will actually solve the problem <laughs> okay I've decided to go to Dahl <laughs> maybe it was a foolish uh, mistake but Look here, we have uphill now, and okay, I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, okay, get ready for it. Ah, yeah, kilowatt power limit. You see, it's it's dropping as we go uphill, but fortunately, we are heating up the battery, so it kind of mitigates that one. But it is lot. Oh shit, it's dropping like a rock. But it can still maintain speed. But we might hit. Oh, <laughs> look here. The power output is right on the spot where we have limit so it means that we are right on the limit actually this this thing here shows you that we are pulling more than the limit look we're pulling four over 40 kilowatt and the limit is at 36 whoa it didn't stop oh shit okay okay whatever i'm gonna bail out at dal i don't dare to go back to nebenes now So you see, uh, in my own Tesla Model 3, which does not have heat scavenging, it will not suck the battery coal. It will keep it at around 25, 28, actually towards the end. The, the heat goes up because the current goes up here once we drive. So, uh, wait, where's the control? Uh, yeah, wait. Now the speed, okay, I change it now. But, um, so you know, with the old battery or the old system with the heat, without heat pump, the battery will be nice and warm. But with the new system, the battery is simply too cold. And then we get power limit. But uh, also the clip yesterday, the power limit turns out that this number, wait, let me see, let me show you here. This number here is incorrect. We don't have 235 kilowatt power, we have more. Seems to be uh, 40, 30, 40% 40 more than this. So I don't know yeah, why it's like that. It came with a recent update on the car. Uh, but anyway, I want to see now if this car, which is not a performance, let me show you. Oh, they moved it. Oh, okay, okay. Let me show you here. It's now, where is it here? Well, you can see some of it here, yeah. But you see, it's just long range. But this car has a different type of battery than the performance. The performance has the 82 kilowatt hour Panasonic battery. And this one is what, from what I heard, it's the, um, around 76 kilowatt hour LG battery. It has six less kilowatt hour than the, the performance. And I want to see if this one is also sensitive for, for the coal when it gets low. So the plan now is to just drive, I guess we drive north because we are kind of close to it. Drive it low to 10, 15% and see what happens. All right, we just passed Nebenes now and um, it's minus one degree Celsius outside. We are down to 28% uh, percent. and uh, yeah, until here I've been hammering it, but now I slowed down because um, it seems like, yeah, it, when, when you're driving fast, you are consuming more energy. That's good. That's what I wanted to do to bring it down fast. But look here, uh, this one, 16.8 degrees. So it's slightly warmer than uh, yesterday, the battery, maybe because I've been hammering it. But look here, I have 200. A kilowatt power limit that huh that is way way better than performance battery it seems like the performance battery is more temperature sensitive so uh, let's just test now uh, okay let's see if we can actually get well, how many kilowatt can we get out of the battery you pay attention to this one here the power output what 260 kilowatts <laughs> Okay, okay, let's slow down again. So I want to just slow poke now. Uh, this is to simulate. Okay, so if you're wondering why I'm driving at 90 on the 110 zone here, it's to simulate going to the cabin or something because uh, there was a guy who complained that uh, he was driving to the cabin and towards the end, it was super slow with his performance. Uh, so he, he supposedly could only drive at around 35 kilometers per hour the last stretch. So yeah instead of me wasting time going towards ghoul or some place i just do it here very convenient and then i could just hammer back home that's why so the test still remains the same yeah 
we are now at 20% and uh, if you look here there's still no power limit even at 190% well, okay 90 there but uh, look it's got my Tesla here we have 200 well, probably around 250 kilowatt power limit still this is a huge difference between the the LG battery in the here and the Panasonic battery so um, yeah and you see that uh, now that I've been driving slow for a while uh, purposely you see that the, the the stators have cooled down the battery has also cooled down so we are at about the same temperature as the performance uh, there yesterday so let's just keep driving uh, first I thought about stopping at um, Nebenes but I will just keep driving uh, towards Oslo again so yeah we, we can maybe stop there there's a grand contact well mere fast charger at uh, Ringerik center I think Klofta yeah we have just passed Garden One now and uh, I changed my mind we're not going to Klofta we just go straight home yeah how about that we have 12% battery left <laughs> <laughs> it's minus one degree Celsius outside. Let's just drive straight home. 34 more kilometers. <laughs> yeah, most EVs be like, what? You have 12%? Shouldn't you try finding a charging station? Nah, nah, let's go. Let's just YOLO it back home. So, um, you see here, also we have no power limit. Well, actually, oh, it started now, it started. Oh yes, finally. We see a little bit of power limit. Let me try to show you. There, there's a little bit of dotted line now, it's starting. Finally, we start seeing it at 12%. And then the stats over here is as follows. We still have 150 plus whatever, uh, I'm guessing maybe close to 200 kilowatts. So it's kind of funny, right? Because the, this long range is way more powerful than the, the performance. <laughs> as long, I mean, when, when did that happen? Uh, maybe below 40 percent below 50 percent then suddenly the the long range is f faster than the <laughs> performance <laughs> and uh, i also noticed that um, the battery is sucked lower now you see well, let me zoom in to see better here so 14 degrees it's uh, one and a half degrees lower than the performance so uh, i would just keep an eye on it keep driving uh, down to oslo and see what happens over there we are getting close to Circle K food set now and we have 6% left <laughs> at least. Okay, we have some power limit here. Now let's check the, the, the details closer. So, Scanma Tesla reports 6.2%. We have 83 kilowatt power limit. That's twice as much as the, the performance. And you see the battery has been sucked down to 13 and a half degrees, but wow still 84 kilowatt now 85 kilowatt power limit huh huh the model 3 performance would be dead by now ded this one is still going strong <laughs> okay let's get over to the fast charger oh yeah we are back at circle k my second home <laughs> but so we we have six percent left wait wait a minute did we just spend six percent going from the airport and back here well we have downhill but there's the airport there's the airport well roughly here let me just check something okay just no 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 okay wait how, how how far is it 34 kilometers yeah okay now obviously we're gonna go back but we drove 34 kilometers roughly or 30 kilometers on fumes six <laughs> percent with some downhill okay but now Let's uh, plug it in. I just want to see how fast we charge. Hmm, yeah. Okay, all right, all right. Ooh, what, 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 what? Huh? 100 and... you got to be kidding me. This thing takes 128 kilowatt with... with... Look here. 13 degrees. This would never happen with MC Hammer or you know, the old battery. So I wonder, with this, this is the LG battery, supposedly how much cobalt did they put in here so you can take 130 kilowatt with pretty cold battery i've noticed this before also when when i was camping in the car and the battery was quite cold it could still regen a lot versus my older battery that if the battery was cold then it wouldn't accept any regen until the battery heated up but look at this wow uh, okay okay pretty good yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
So the conclusion from this test is that the the most um, long range Model 3s they should have the LG battery with the slightly lower capacity, but seems like this LG battery has enough cobalt so it doesn't colgate that much. That's what I noticed when I drove this since day one that it was quite easy when I went to, went to the supercharger to get 138, 140 kilowatt. Okay, it didn't last too long, but you know, with MC Hammer, my Model 3, the old one, old battery, I had to really struggle to heat it up to heat up the battery to almost 40 degrees before I could hit 135, 140 kilowatt. Like, yes, most of the time when I arrived there with let's say 25 degrees, I would only get 120 kilowatt. So, you know, yes, uh, this battery is not charging as fast as the old battery but on the other hand this battery can get more consistent charging rate uh, not too dependent on the temperature whereas the old battery you have to hammer it or you have to yo-yo it or something uh, and you don't always get the fastest speed unless it's summer of course yeah but then what about uh, the Model 3 performance then? Well, uh, the Model 3 performance, uh, you know, it seems to have the same type of battery that the old one had, like MC Hammer. But the problem with the new performance is that it has the octa valve that sucks the heat out of the battery to, well, to save energy. Because you, you are scavenging heat to save energy. But the problem is that it sucks it too cold. So it's about 15 degrees on the new pack versus 25, 28. Actually, usually towards the end, uh, MC Hammer would have about 30 degrees Celsius, even in winter. And then I don't notice any where the power limit uh, limp mode like the other one. So uh, the, the workaround for you guys who has a Model 3 performance, or if you also have uh, some lucky people or lucky people with long range they also got the new 82 kilowatt hour Panasonic battery is that if you are bothered by this if you get limp mode uh, you should navigate to a supercharger even if you're not going to a supercharger if you're going to let's say you're going to a cabin in Gul or Guk or somewhere and your destination is a cabin and not a supercharger uh, the problem is that if you just drive without navigating the supercharger, the battery will be sucked down, coal, and then towards the end, it will be limping. Uh, but if you navigate the supercharger on the way there, it will start preheating. And then when you pass it, that's still okay, because then uh, it would just, well, you can cancel it, or you can kind of stitch, lock on to, kind of lock on to the supercharger as you pass it, right? And then it will try to keep the battery warm. But even if you cancel it afterwards, uh, you still have that that heat up, that build up, you know? So maybe you manage to heat up the battery to 25 degrees. And then when you arrive at the cabin, it won't be that cold. And then you won't be limping towards the cabin, but you will have slightly higher consumption because then it's not scavenging the heat anymore. Uh, and then a solution for Tesla is quite easy, in my opinion. What you can do is the, for the performance cars is that you um, uh, you can check it around, let's say around 30, 40%. Then instead of scavenging the heat like it will do it by default, start uh, diverting heat from the motors towards the battery to heat it up just like the classic ones like my car mc hammer does it uh, by doing that start doing that towards let's say 30 40 percent by the time you're down to 10 15 percent then the battery should still uh, should be at 25 30 degrees and then you won't get that weird limp mode or whatever i call it yeah so that's something that Tesla could easily fix with a software update. So let's see if they will do it. But for now, uh, if you have Model 3 performance or the, the other, yeah, uh, that, that big pack, battery pack, then just uh, be aware of this. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, it could be potentially dangerous if you get the limp mode and you're on the, on the motorway or somewhere or in an undersea tunnel and no one can overtake you or I don't know really. really. So, but just, yeah. Hopefully Tesla will uh, fix this soon. So um, I think that's going to be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.